What's up, Falcons Nation? It's your boy, Jew, coming at you with another Atlanta Falcons video. As always, Falcons Nation, rise up. In today's video, I would like to give you guys some quick Atlanta Falcons news. But if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so you know when I've done Atlanta Falcons content. Hit that like button for your boy. I do appreciate each and every one of you guys for your continued support. Um, if you would like to follow your boy on Twitter and Instagram, you can follow me at Jew Talk Sports. Um, but with that being said, let's jump right into the video. So today in Atlanta Falcons news, uh, the Atlanta Falcons have released defensive tackle Anthony Rush. Uh, this is really shocking news to me. Um, I don't like this move by the Atlanta Falcons. Um, I'm sure uh, that uh, Dean Pease and Arthur Smith and Terry Fontenot and those guys, they have something up their sleeve. I'm not too sure uh, if they're releasing Anthony Rush to make room for someone else they might be bringing onto the active roster and maybe they'll re-sign Anthony Rush uh, to the practice squad or possibly bring him back at a later date. But there has to be something going on that we don't know about with Anthony Rush because this is really shocking news to me. Uh, to me, Anthony Rush has played pretty well um, this season for Atlanta Falcons. He basically is a one-tech a guy that you just put in the middle of your defense to help you stop the run, uh, help collapse the pocket, uh, help give guys like Grady Jarrett um, a breather at times uh, to give uh, Adula Anderson um, some time off the field. Guys like Taquan Graham. Uh, basically, he's just a rotational guy that you bring in. But I don't like this move because Anthony Rush is pretty much the biggest guy on our Atlanta Falcons defense. Uh, to me, he's the only true one tech other than uh, Timmy Horn. Uh, he's the only uh, the only other true one tech that we have on our roster. Uh, yes, Grady Jarrett and Taquan Graham have played well this season. And yes, those guys have played some three tech and some one tech this year uh, for our Atlanta Falcons and our three four defense. Uh, but I don't like this move because you guys know that I'm big on strength and numbers and I'm big on having different uh, size guys on your defensive line. Um, I was never a fan of having smaller guys on our defensive line, how we had when Dan Quinn was here. Um, I believe when we let go of guys like Dontari Poe and we let go of Rasheed Hageman, I felt like those guys played a particular role on our team. Um, and I feel the same way about Anthony Rush. You can't teach, you know, 6'5", 355 to 360 pounds. You can't teach that kind of size. So um, I wasn't expecting Anthony Rush to be that guy that's going to get you, you know, a bunch of sacks or anything of that nature. His role really is to keep guys off of Grady Jarrett, keep double teams off of guys like Taquan Graham, uh, keep guys off of uh, those edge rushers to let those guys do their thing. So Anthony Rush was mainly a role player for our Atlanta Falcons. But you guys know I'm huge on you have to have those, you know, those big guys up front to keep those offensive linemen off of uh, your safeties, off of your linebackers, and off of uh, those guys in the second level. So if you don't have those big body guys that can eat up blockers and can eat up double teams, that could really hurt. Um, you know, your linebackers can really hurt in the running game. So I'm not uh, sure what the Falcons are doing with this move. Um, I was really caught off guard uh, seeing Anthony Rush uh, being released today. Um, but I'm sure... Uh, Arthur Smith or Dean P, somebody's going to come out and mention what happened with the whole Anthony Rush ordeal. Um, you know, who knows what's going on? I really don't want to speculate because I don't know the reason why Anthony Rush was uh, released. But hopefully at some point he's possibly brought back on the roster or hopefully they bring in uh, some more bodies uh, as far as bigger bodies up front on the defensive line. We do have guys like Marlon Davidson who could possibly be coming back off of IR soon, um, being that we are past that four game period where guys can come off of IR. Uh, we do have guys like uh, Derek Tangelo who played really well in the preseason. That's a big body as well. So I don't know maybe if they see, uh, seen those guys maybe play well during practice uh, that's currently on the practice squad and they thought that a guy like Anthony Rush was uh, expendable. But at this point, like I said, I really don't want to speculate too much more because I really don't know uh, why the Falcons decided to release An uh, Anthony Rush. But I do wish him happy trails and wish him nothing but the best if he did, uh, if he ends up signing with another team. 
Uh, but hopefully this doesn't come back to bite us, you know, bite us in the butt if um, he does end up signing with another team or if we start to struggle uh, when it comes to, you know, stopping the run or if, God forbid, we have an injury, knock on wood. So hopefully, you know, our guys stay healthy up front. Uh, we did bring in Jaleel Johnson yesterday as well. So that could have been maybe why they decided to move on from a guy like Anthony Rush. But with that being said, you guys let me know what you think of the video. You guys let me know what you think about Anthony Rush being released and maybe your thoughts on why he may have been released. Uh, like I said, I was completely caught off guard. But as always, Falcons Nation, I'll keep, you know, giving you guys the, um, you know, the breaking news. Uh, but with that being said, you guys, make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button for your boy. We are currently on the road uh, to 2000 subscribers and beyond. And with that being said, as always, Falcons Nation, rise up. Peace.